Hi there, Emma from EV Fire Safe. In this really quick video, I want to answer the big question that's been doing the rounds this week on social media. How many electric vehicle battery fires have there been here in Australia? Now, when I talk about this, I'm talking about BEV and FEV, battery electric vehicle and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. So they require external charging uh, and they have a, a far larger battery than uh, the, the hybrid vehicles. So electric vehicles catch fire all the time. And this is actually my very first electric vehicle which I unfortunately parked in the wrong spot while jumping on a truck to go fight a big bushfire, but the battery wasn't involved in that fire. And it's a really important point. We have EV fires and we have EV battery fires. And actually when an electric vehicle's on fire, only about 40% of the time does the battery actually become involved. So this is a really important bit of information for firefighters like myself, because if it's just combustibles burning, just the, the vehicle but not the battery, we put water on it the same way we, we would with a petrol or diesel vehicle. But if the battery becomes involved, then it's a, a little bit more of a, it's a bit of a bigger job because we have um, a process called thermal runaway that makes the incident longer. It will require more people, typically require more water. There's more information about thermal runaway on our website. I won't go into that here. But back to the big question, how many electric vehicle battery fires have we had here in Australia while they've been on the road? So we've actually only had six. So we've had six lithium ion battery fires in electric cars that require charging, and there are about 120,000 of these on the road currently here in Australia. So why did these vehicles catch fire? In all cases, it's due to damage to the battery pack. From uh, arson, there have been three that have been in private home garages and the garage has burnt down. We've had one due to collision and one due to road debris that um, actually the car ran over and it went up into the battery pack, which is the one that happened near Goulburn uh, earlier this week. So in none of these cases were the vehicles on charge, which is a good thing for us to know. The other good thing for us to know is if you're an emergency responder or an electric vehicle, Vehicle driver and your electric vehicle is involved in a collision or it's hit by road debris underneath the vehicle where the battery pack sits, it's submerged in water, particularly flood water that's salty for an extended period. If it's recalled by the manufacturer due to battery fault or if it has suffered some kind of fire, then you do need to contact your dealer and get it checked out. Now, if this has been really useful information for you, come and train with us. Go to evfiresafe.business if you're an emergency responder or if you work around electric vehicles. We have some great training programs and online sessions that are going to help keep you safer around electric vehicles and lithium-ion batteries. Thanks for watching.